Um, I mean, I think my, probably my first role model was my grandfather. Um, he was a brilliant storyteller. And um, when I used to go and stay with my grandparents, he would um, tell us adventure stories, but we were the main characters. And so I think from a really young age, I was already putting myself into uh, the role of both a storyteller and, and also being within a story and understanding what a character would do. And so I think my, my first, my biggest role model was my grandfather, um, but also, you know, some good teachers and, and nowadays other authors who I, I love to read and, and I read so many, so many different authors. Um, yes, and, and also um, a lot of my contemporaries uh, writing either historical fiction or crime fiction. Um, I, I, I always suddenly forget every, everyone that I, I read when, I, when I'm asked a question, what's my favorite book? I find it so hard because I have so many. Um, but um, I, I guess a combination between a lot of really good crime fiction, a lot of good thrillers, um, but also more literary fiction as well. Um, it's, it's a mix. I find that some of them take quite a lot of work and I have to think about um, who they are, maybe, um, maybe look at their backstory, do lots of note writing, try and get in under their skin. And then others just appear on the page, fully formed, and, and they know who they are before I know who they are. And that's always quite a surprise, um, but a joy, because then they just write themselves. And often they'll be the characters who I do. Um, I've always written really long, um, I call them uh, chapter breakdowns. So I sort of free write when, I, when I've got an understanding of um, the location, the characters, uh, the research that I need to do. I will sit there and uh, free write maybe about uh, 20 to 40,000 words of, of just the, the plan. And it's my roadmap for the book. And it, it changes often and, and I let it. And it's important, I think, not to be too confined by that. But I have tried to write a novel just free fall. And um, after three months, I have to scrap all of it and start again. So I, I, I've learned that I, I like to plot. So yes, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm one of those people, I, I, I'm like the last person to get anything technological. So um, I, I, I've been reading it in the news um, and it's, it's, it's interesting and alarming at the same time, but I, but I think I'm just sort of ignoring it for now and, and sort of hoping that I still have a job. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, edit, 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 edit. And, and when you think you've, you've done enough, you probably haven't. So read everything again and again and again. But sometimes, you know, take a break from it. If you have a big piece of work that you're working on and sometimes you get a little blind, take two days, three days, a week away from it and you will have fresh eyes. But I, every time I think I've got a perfect book, my editors will turn around and, and show me that I absolutely haven't. So editing and also reading, reading as much as you possibly can across all genres, all different styles and, and watching TV as well. I mean, plotting, understanding how plot and narrative and characterization works. Just read everything and edit your work. <laughs> that would be it. <laughs>